today. Hold on, there's more. This big bugger, he's probably only gonna get end up getting returned anyway. And there's more. Got some happy mail too. Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here. I went shopping in port today. I didn't vlog. It's too hard. I didn't need any of this. So I just thought I would show you what I bought it. Where did I go first? Big W. I want to make up like a little portable kit so I can put all, like have all my journal stuff in like a little bag. And you know, if I feel like doing some journaling out in the lounge room, I've got all of my kit all in the one bag ready to go. So there's a few things I needed for my journal kit. And same with my art, like my watercolors and sketching. I wanna make like a little bag. So I wanna take it to the beach with me. I've got all my supplies there. I've got a packet of these paper mate liquid paper rollers, but they're the mini one. I don't know how much all of this is. At the moment, it's back to school here in Australia. School starts pretty much the 1st of February around about, maybe the last two days of January. So at the moment, everything's all school supplies, maybe $3 for this packet. I also picked up a little packet of the Boss Stick glue sticks. These are also the mini size. They're just like maybe a little bit bigger than a chapstick. I also picked up two tiny little sharpeners, which I think are adorable. These are the Faber-Castell. I think they were like 40 cents. And I've got one for my art kit and one for my journal kit. And I like them because they've got a lid. You, the shavings can be collected inside. No mess, no fuss. I also picked up two tiny wooden rulers. These were about 30 cents each. Next, I went to the reject shop. Found some more Dove hand soap in the reject shop. So I may or may not have picked up for four of these. I know cleaning supplies and shower supplies, I'm supposed to be dwindling down, but we do use hand soap on the regular. Plus the hand soap containers that we have are 500 mils. Two of these will fill up one container. I did get four, fill up one in my bathroom and one in the kitchen here in the house. That's what we use to clean. I picked up a, a shower sponge. I haven't really seen proper shower sponges around for a long, long time. And this was only $3 from the reject shop. So I thought we'll give that one a go. And um, if this lasts longer than my shower poops, I think I might convert to those. The other thing I picked up from the reject shop is this hair dye. I also got one for Jesse as well. Yeah, purple, just for something different. It was only $7.50 and I thought, oh, that's something nice for a bit of a change. Scrubby pads uh, with a holder, mainly to clean the showers. That was only about two or three dollars. I did go up there with the intention of giving myself a spa pedicure and I just couldn't be bothered. I really just couldn't be bothered taking my shoes off, taking my socks off, sitting there in the chair getting my foot spa. Is that the height of freaking laziness? I just couldn't be bothered. I bought one of these, I think it was $2.50 and I figured this will probably do the same job as the foot spa. You've got your little cheese grater, you've got your M file you've got your pumice stone and you've got an actual brush on that side and I figured I'll just give myself a pedicure when I get home and I also picked up a packet of the nine hour burn time unscented tea light candles for my wax warmers. I think they were about $6 for the whole packet. The other thing I picked up, five liter swing top bin. And I got this for the kids' toilet. I've had other Kmart ones in there before that have had metal parts on them. Either the pedal was metal or it's had a metal lid or something. And they start to rust after a little while and they just look gross. So I just figured I'll just get a plain, small, plastic one in white it's clean it's streamlined it's got a lid so you're not seeing what's in the bin and so this was six dollars from the reject shop which i thought was quite good and that was everything from the reject shop next i went to kmart now there's probably a few things going to be going back to kmart because i found some better ones in spotlight so i'll show you what i got from kmart first first of all i got this massive glass 
container with a lid. I actually bought this for my laundry powder. The one I've currently got in there at the moment has got a black metal lid and it's rusting. Like it's getting rust spots on it and it's just gross. I really don't like it. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Just use this one. So this is all glass. I think this was $10. And then I also picked up a smaller version and I was thinking in mind to use this smaller version for the unstoppables, the scent boosters, the little pellets. But on looking at it, I mean, I like the fact that they're matching but I'm looking at it, that's gonna be so massive for the Unstoppables. I think it's actually just gonna look a little bit silly. That is what I got from Kmart at the time, but then I found some better ones in Spotlight. So I'll probably be returning these to Kmart if I don't find an alter alternative use for them in the house. So the big one was 10, the little one I think was six. The other thing I found in Kmart today was this, just a very plain, very basic wax warmer. So you put your candle in there, you put your wax melt in there. And I just thought, that's just like really nice. Thought I could use this either in my bedroom or somewhere here in, maybe in one of the bathrooms even. That was only $5. They're new in Kmart. I haven't seen them before. The other thing I picked up from Kmart was some nail colors. So I've got the Sinful Colors brand and we've got All Jokes Acai. So it's supposed to be a side, but it's it's spelt like it's acai, like the, the acai bowl, bowls. Can you see that? It's like a dusty rose color. God, I hope my pits are shaved and you can't see them. Uh, the other color I bought was Taupe is Dope. Clearly, it's a taupe color, which I, I really like. And the other two colors I got, again, from Sinful Colors. The lighter purple is called Veiled in Violet, and the darker purple is called Let's Talk. So that's those two colors there. But I got the purple to match my whole purple aesthetic that I've got going this year. So I picked up those two. The other thing I found in Kmart was this L bite size eyeshadow. This is in the color Acai U. It must be a whole thing, Acai Bowls or what. Am I even saying that right? It's A-C-A-I, Acai. Is that how you say it? However you say it. And it's in like all the blues. I actually like using touches of blue eyeshadow on my eyes. I feel like it sometimes makes my blue eyes like stand out a bit more. Not like the whole 80s vibe of blue, but I just kind of put a little bit in the, like the, the outer corner. And I really, really like this color here. This one, it looks really nice. So I got that, that was I think six dollars maybe i picked up some oh, i guess you could kind of call it journaling stuff but stuff that i also want to get into this year i've got a calligraphy pad here so this has just got um 50 pages and it's got like that sort of grid pattern on it to help you practice calligraphy here's the pages of the pad i'm hoping it's coming out to go with that, I also picked up this, it's only a very cheap set, it was $5 for this set, a 20 piece calligraphy set. So you get three pen barrels, three stainless steel nibs, one in fine, one in medium and one in broad, 14 assorted colours ink cartridges and a calligraphy font ideas sheet. So it's only just a cheap kit, just to like help. I just wanna practice lettering and stuff like that as well. I've got a few books on it. And that's another thing that I wanted to get into this year as, as well as journaling is, you know, learning how to do some nice lettering. The other thing I saw there, which I haven't seen before, is this box of bottles of inks. Inside, we've got four bottles of different colored inks. So you can use those with the um, calligraphy pens as well. And I think that you get a black, a blue, a red, and a green. I think this kit as well was $5. Most of all of these were like around the $5 mark. They're doing the graphic markers, like kind of like the Copic, Copic style of markers. Get it to, there you go. But it's obviously the Kmart brand. This whole pack was only $4.50 and it's in like the skin tone, skin graphic markers, so all the skin tones. And they're dual, dual ended, 
So you've got a fatter end and a skinny end. Quick drying. I also grabbed another box of those graphic markers, same as the other ones. Um, this is a bigger box though. You get all of those in the box. And I just thought, yeah, I just I kind of just stuck with the neutral colors for now, just to try them out. This whole box was like $9.50. Last stop I went to was Spotlight. The main thing I went to Spotlight for was a Valance for my bed. Now that I've got a proper base on the bed, I can actually put a proper Valance down. So this one actually will go across the whole base and then just have the frill hanging down. This was from Spotlight. It's the Ku brand. It's the 250 thread count, queen size Valance. Spotlight was having a 40% off, of, so this Valance ended up only being $22. So I thought I'm going to give that a go for that price. I couldn't even make it for cheaper than that. And then I also picked up a couple of meters of white flannelette material. I've got a couple of DIYs in mind, which I'm going to be using this for those. This was, I think, normally $9 a meter. But again, it was 40% off, so it was maybe about $5 a meter, something like that. So I picked up that. Now, the other thing I picked up from Spotlight were these containers. So these again were 40% off. So I've got this one, I've got this one, and then I've got a smaller version. So I've got this set of three. They weren't actually bought as a set, but they were super cheap. So this one I think was $9, this one was $5, and this one was maybe $3. They're really nice, just all glass, the lid's glass, it's got a uh, rubber sealed lid. And yeah, when I saw these, I thought they were actually going to be doing a better job than the other ones. So, I'm thinking of using these in my laundry, so this one for my laundry powder. And either what I had in mind was maybe put some fabric softener in this one and put my scent beads in that one. And then they can all just sort of sit as a little group of three on my laundry bench and I can get rid of my dispensers. Even though I just said last week that I brought my dispensers back because I really like them. But maybe, maybe now that all of these are matching and they all like might look nice together I might change it again <laughs> so I'm gonna see what looks better whether the Kmart ones look better I mean if you have a look there's a bit of a size difference so that's the spotlight one that's the Kmart one for the washing powder doesn't really matter they both be quite they'd both be quite suitable but yeah definitely I think this one's gonna be way too big for the scent beads because um, I think by the time I empty out the bottle of scent beads, it's probably only going to fill it up to here and it'll look ridiculous. And then I can maybe find an alternative use for these around the house. Maybe not. Who knows? Otherwise, I can just return them. So that is it as far as my shopping haul. I don't feel like I got too many items that are going to live in my house. I mean, apart from these glass canisters. But if these glass canisters are going to live in my house, there's going to be other items being replaced by them, you know what I mean? So there'll be other items leaving in order for these ones to stay. So that's my plan with those. The other thing, I've got some happy mail. <laughs> I want to show you my happy mail. One of these happy mail boxes is in trouble. Anna, you're in trouble. <laughs> you didn't need to send me anything. I will get to that one in a minute. So I'll open this one up first. This was one of my eBay purchases that's going to be for my journals. Now with the AliExpress stuff, I've ordered a crap ton of journal supplies. I think I'm going to maybe save all of those once I've got all of them and then do a big haul as a separate video. Uh, rather than just sort of showing you day by day as it comes in. But this one was like a separate purchase. So this was from eBay. So I figured I'll just show you this one now because I really, really like the look of this. So this is actually a passport holder, but a lot of people in like 
crafting, journaling, planners and stuff like that. They use these to store some like journal supplies or planner supplies in as well. Uh, they're really handy actually. You can store a lot of stuff in them. Like you can either store your pens in them, uh, scissors, rulers. You can put stickers, some different ephemera. They fit a lot in them. Like when you zip them up, you, you can get them really chunky and you can actually get quite a lot in them. You can get cheaper versions from AliExpress or from eBay and I have had the cheaper versions before but they did fall apart on me. Uh, this one was a little bit more expensive. I think this one was $11. Normally you can probably get similar ones to this for like $1.30 or something like that. This one was a little bit more expensive. It was initially $11 with free postage, uh, but it is a better quality one. I also, for some reason, I had an eBay coupon for $5 off a purchase. So I used that coupon and it ended up only costing me $6.00. So that was pretty good. And it came with a little, is this a pen? Yeah, it comes with a little pen on a carabiner as well. Uh, but yeah, these are really, really handy. I love these. And you can use these even as like an everyday wallet if you want to. It's got a zipper compartment here. It's got another little zipper compartment there. It's got lots of little slots uh, that you can put your stuff in in here lots of little compartments all down the bottom here lots of little compartments here at the back so yeah and plus there's one at the front as well but normally they're like a passport document wallet that you would take if you go traveling but um yeah i just like using them for my journal supplies so when i start doing my journal things and set everything out i'll show you what i end up putting in this so that was the first bit of happy mail I got. I don't know what this second lot of happy mail is, but Anna, if you're watching, you did not need to send me this. So this is from Anna from Hollywood Gifts. If you guys remembered, I did an unboxing of an order that I placed uh, just before Christmas of some candles and wax melts that I purchased from Anna, the ones that are in all of those fancy glass jars. They're absolutely beautiful. Like I've, I've got them all like displayed around my house. I haven't even burnt them yet. And just having them sitting in the area where they are, you can smell the fragrance of the candle all throughout the whole room. So yeah, they're really, really lovely, lovely scents. I'm happy with every single scent I got. So this is a surprise package from Anna, which you did not need to send me. I'm very <laughs> cross with you, lady. Oh, Anna, you didn't need to do this. This box is full. Oh, so this is, oh no, oh, she's wrote me a little note. So this is where it comes from. I've had, done a couple of orders from Anna over the years and I've absolutely loved everything that she sent me and she's written me a little note saying dear Lisa just a replacement amber candle for the one that broke in the last order a little gift I've popped a skull candle in there for Jessie also oh thank you she's gonna love that happy new year for 2022 let's hope for a better year definitely Thank you for all your support and shout outs in your video. So grateful. Love, Anna. Oh, thank you, Anna. And honestly, you did not need to send a replacement. Honestly, like I've got that candle displayed. You'd never even know that that little piece is gone. Honestly, um, but thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. You are the best and your candles are freaking amazing. I absolutely love them. And I'm not even just saying that. I really love them. So let's see what Anna's got me. Oh, more wax melts, yum. So the first one I've got is a packet of wax melts in the fragrance CK1. Oh my God, that is, wow, that is delicious. Oh, that's even better than the sexy man candle. Yummo, I love that. Thank you so much. The other fragrance we got in the wax melt was lemon meringue. Let me smell this one. Ooh, oh my God, that is exactly lemon meringue. Wow, <laughs> this is like you could actually eat that. 
like whatever you think lemon meringue smells like that is exactly those that smells so nice but not it's like very fresh lemony not like a sickly sweet lemony it's really lovely yum thank you wow look at all of this Anna you're really naughty so we've got another packet of wax melts here we've got lychee light is it how you say it lychee and black tea oh that's lovely too hold on let me have a better sniff these are like little chocolate blocks i love these oh that's nice and fresh too so that's lychee and black tea and these wax melts i've got like rose petal pieces in them as well so they are stunning absolutely love the look of those and i've been burning some of these already the ones that i ordered they're really nice so what have we got here oh anna you should not do this seriously you didn't need to oh that's a replacement for my amber candle thank you so much oh you're so lovely thank you there's my amber candle all beautiful this one's my patchouli musk i love this i'm absolutely obsessed with patchouli oh that is so good so that one's in patchouli musk how pretty is the packaging it's so lovely and then next we've got a reed diffuser in oh, white linen my freaking favorite and i think am i right that this flower with the little wick goes in there and then that's your reed diffuser oh this one i can smell that white linen that is a beautiful fragrance i love that so yeah that little wick sits inside there and then the flower sits on top and that's your reed diffuser rather than having sticks hanging out that is so pretty thank you so much you're so so good to me and then this one i think is the one for jesse she's gonna love this oh she's gonna love that oh my god and that's the one she got for jesse and she got that in berrylicious how cool is that oh that is just all jesse that oh i think i might keep this myself now i won't <laughs> now I won't. oh that is so good jesse look what you got come here you know anna from hollywood gifts where i've got all those the candles like that from at christmas time i put that big order in she's sent you one of these this is your one come smell it have a quick smell so Rolly before Rolly chews on anything look it's got like a skull on it and everything just your aesthetic she doesn't want to be in the video because she's like all over the place how nice is that so that's your one that looks so cool thank you Anna <laughs> thank you so much Anna you really honestly you did not need to do that but wow i am just over the moon just so spoiled i really really appreciate it. i absolutely love them what do you want show turn the turn the camera around what are you doing what do you want how you zoom in look at his little ears going back and forth what are you doing what do you want you want carrots he is. <laughs> it's like a little radar, isn't he? Like, do, 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 do. I love you. Should get him nickering when we say I love you. Did you get him any carrots? No, I didn't buy anything. <gasps> there. Wow, that's 45 minutes freaking long. That is a long video. Absolutely blown away, Anna. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Highly recommend her candles and wax melts and everything. Just go check her out. She doesn't just sell candles and wax melts either. There's like jewelry holders and jewelry and like home decor pieces. There's like heaps of stuff. I'll leave a link to her website and instagram and facebook and everything down below so go check her out she's um absolutely amazing and honestly i can absolutely vouch for her candles and wax melts and they're just they smell amazing i love them and i bought a whole heap the very first time i bought from anna 
was actually I bought a lot of them for gifts for my bosses at work and yeah they came back like after Christmas and said oh my god where did you get those reed diffusers from they're absolutely amazing so yeah definitely I'll vouch 100% back Anna and all her products she's absolutely amazing they smell divine so definitely go check her out so I just wanted to show you this quick haul today um, I will be filming over the weekend again, so this isn't the only video that's going out this week. So I'll have another weekend vlog coming up, and depending how long it is, I might have to split it up again like last weekend. But yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow. In my life, it'll be tomorrow. In your life, maybe it'll be a couple of days from now. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.